Many of you probably agree, music can change your mood. It can help us reflect on our feelings and our experiences. And that is especially true for young people. And a new program called Follow the Music is set to kick off right here in the Bay Area, aimed at promoting music education and helping support emerging artists. And joining me live tonight in our Neighbor to Neighbor segment, look who it is, guys. It's a man that a lot of people wish was their neighbor. It is 49er legend Ronnie Lott. Ronnie, so nice of you to join me tonight. It's great joining you, and the reason why it's great joining you, I'm so excited about this program. I'm, I'm trying to find the, the next Mark Purdy in music. <laughs> hey, so this isn't a sports program. As you mentioned, it is a music program. So, Ronnie, what inspired you to, to get behind this? Well, when you think about all the people that, we, that I've met over the years in uh, music, uh, I remember the first time I met MC Hammer, <laughs> and uh, I remember him walking in, handing out tapes, and he was just telling us, hey, I got a shot. I, I think I can beat somebody. And I think when you see people like that over the years, you start to recognize that it's another shot for people to take. And you want people, especially young people, to learn how to take their shot. So, you know, providing this type of element of being able to make sure that they can be showcased, make sure that they have a chance to learn about the industry, to make sure that they have a shot at being able to participate. And so we're going to do that. And at the Guild Theater, uh, we're having a concert on October 29th. Uh, it's going to be a great kickoff. Uh, Sheila E is showing up. And I think it's going to be one of those nights where we're going to be able to raise a lot of money to help a lot of young people. Yeah, it really is great. Talk a little bit more about the program's mission and just who will be able to take part. Well, when you think about the mission, the mission is really, it's, a, it's like being a rookie. And, and, and there are a lot of things that you don't know about being a rookie. And, and when I think about looking back at my life and going through that experience, there were so many things that a coach could teach you. And I think what we're trying to do is to try to bring that same atmosphere for young people and to have them being able to learn how to understand how they can be able to advance their game mm -hmm. and get better at their game, but more importantly, be able to understand all of the attributes of music. So when you think of like Santana, yeah, I mean, when you go back and you think of guys that have played music like Huey Lewis and you think of that group and you think of those guys, what you recognize at some point in their life, they were doing what we're trying to do right now. They were trying to figure out how to be rookies. They were trying to figure out how to make it. And, and hopefully what we're trying to do is we're going to try to advance this group and we're going to try to make sure that young people have a chance to be heard and not only be heard, but also to be, you know, to feel that kind of juice that yeah. you need to feel in life sometimes where you have to have that confidence. And especially for a lot of young people, as you well know, I'm sure the first time that you were on camera, <laughs> you were sitting there going, "Woo, <laughs> can I handle this? Yeah. And yes, that's what's going to happen to a lot of these young people that we're going to be working with. Yeah. Real quickly, though, you mentioned Sheila E. I mean, a powerhouse like that to be able to learn from, too, that's an incredible experience and opportunity, Ronnie. Yes, it is. And, uh, you know, her, her dad, obviously, yeah. and their family and just all the people that I've met throughout the years of being around them and, and, and what they've given so much to the Bay Area in yeah. terms of not just music, but giving their soul and giving who they are as an identity to make sure that music was heard not only around the globe, but music was heard from the Bay Area. And, and to me, it's people like this that saying, you know what, I can make a difference. I can give back and I can find a way to participate and help these young people. So we're going to have moments like that where you have people that are going to say, you know what, I want to be a part of that team. I want to make a difference, and I want to find the next Mark Purdy. Yeah. Okay, speaking of that, before I let you go, Ronnie, i got to ask you a football question, all right? 49ers, yeah. they are red hot, as you know, coming into this game against the Browns on Sunday. It's your kind of defensive matchup. What do you think? Really quick, about 15 seconds here. Yes, it's simple. We'll kill them. <laughs> I like it. That works. That works. Hey, really love what you're doing here. You're such an inspiration, and I know that a lot of young people are going to gain a lot from this. Ronnie Lott, really appreciate your time tonight. And thank you very much for having us, and we look forward to working with so many young people in the Bay Area. Sounds great. Thanks so much.